Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Christina Alfano. I'm the Director of Marketing at NEA Powered by Vine. I'd like to thank you for joining us for today's webinar with Denimax. Before we kick things off, I've got a few quick housekeeping notes. All participants are on mute, but you can ask questions throughout the webinar using the webinar questions tool, and we'll answer them at the end of the session. Also, this session is being recorded, and you'll receive a link to the recording after the event so that you can share it with others in your practice. And finally, there's going to be a brief survey immediately following the session. We'd ask that you please take a minute to provide us with some feedback on how we did today. With that, let me tell you a little bit about our presenters. Today we have with us Alicia McKinney, Practice Management Director from Denimax. From NEA, we have our Dental Solutions uh, Ambassador, Sherry Richard, who actually is a, a former practice manager and has worked in dental practices for over 20 years. So she's going to tell you a little bit about the NEA side, and Alicia will show you all the, the good things with the Denimax and FastAttach integration. So with that, we're going to kick it off with Alicia, then we'll run through Sherry's presentation, and there'll be a Q&A at the end. So as I said, feel free to type your questions as you go along if you don't want to forget them. And um, with that, I'm going to hand it over to Alicia and let her get things started. Thank you so much, Christine. I just want to first uh, start by thanking both you and Sherry for joining me today and uh, giving us a great opportunity to show off what NEA has done with Dentmax and our wonderful partnership and the tools that are really going to help the dental offices send their electronic attachments smoothly and easily and all the other amazing services you guys provide that even I myself as a former office manager who used NEA I didn't even know about this cool stuff, so I'm really excited <laughs> to present this to our Dentmax customers and um, let everybody know about the added value you guys bring to the table. I just want to first start by showing everyone that NEA actually does integrate into our Dentmax software and how easy it is to use inside of Dentmax. And for those of you who don't have it inside of Dentmax, that's okay you can still use NEA as a standalone version as well, and uh, we're going to cover that in a bit. But some of you may already have NEA and may be using it, and some of you may want to be using it. So I want to show you how that all works. In my screen, obviously, we're looking at Dentmax, and this is one of our claim forms that we pulled up from the claim screen. You'll all notice that we've got an NEA Fast Attach tab right here at the top of the claim information. We can see that this claim is for a crown on tooth number six for our test patient. And so keeping that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and pull up data relating to that and add some attachments. So to begin, I'm just going to go to my NEA Fast Attach tab. And NEA has a great product and service called FastLook, where when you click Check Attachment Requirements, the system will actually tell you for the procedure that you have on the claim form and based on the insurance company you're sending that claim to, what attachments would be required. Um, keep in mind, I have a demo version of my software, so I'm not totally live to show you that information. But right here, it would show you what attachments would be required for a claim, with, um, claim for a crown, which typically would be a narrative for the patient and an x-ray. So the next step would be for me to add the attachment. So my next button down is Add Attachment. I'm going to go ahead and click that box, and it pulls up a number of different items which you could add to the claim form. So first, I'm going to go ahead and choose Attach a Clinical Note or a Narrative, and those of you who are using or placing your clinical notes inside of Dentmax, you can have one of our clinical note templates put in there if you don't already have those, um, but that's what I'm going to go ahead and use. So I just select that as my option and hit Continue. It pulls up that patient's clinical note specifically and will actually be able to scroll through this list and find the one we're looking for. But probably one of my favorite features is that if you've tagged that note with a tooth number here at the top, you can do a filter by tooth number. So if I'm looking for my clinical note for tooth number six, I'm just going to type a six here in the side menu. And obviously, that was my first note here, but you'll notice that we don't have any other clinical notes to choose from because no other note pertains to tooth number six. So it makes it easy for me to find the clinical note I want to use very quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and select Use and then hit Attach. And you'll see I had a narrative already previously attached, and now I've added another narrative. If I have another attachment I want to add, I just go ahead and hit Add Attachment once again and then choose the other type of attachment. 
For a crown, perio charting isn't really relevant, but I'm going to go ahead and attach one just to show you how that works. So I'm going to choose Add a Perio Exam. Hit the Continue button, and it allows me to select from a number of exams I have on file for this patient. So you choose the most relevant one, hit the Select button, and then go ahead and click OK, and it's actually going to send that report for the perio exam to the attachment status here. So we'll allow that to get added on. Now we've got a perio exam attached. And again, we can just continue on adding attachments. If you do go ahead and choose attach an x-ray, and you've got digital imaging, you do not have to have Dentamax digital imaging in order to add an x-ray attachment. Although if you do, you do have an option here to grab the image from Dentamax imaging. So I could just select that. It'll pull up my Dentamax imaging software, and then I'm able to choose which x-ray I want to attach from there. If you don't have Dentamax imaging by chance, you can also go ahead and um, choose to take a screenshot of the x-ray or even capture an image file if you do have an x-ray saved to your desktop, for example. So you've got a number of different ways that you can grab and add attachments to this claim to send to NEA. If we go ahead here, and I'm just going to uh, choose Screenshot, Continue. Um, what's nice is you get a little screen capture tool right here, and you can do anything you want with your screen, um, pull up a different image, and lay it on top of what you were looking at. Hit Take a Screenshot, and now it's actually immediately captured that full screenshot. Um, you can crop this. So if all of it's not relevant, you can just draw a little box around the x-ray that you want. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the Crop button. And now we've got one x-ray that we're attaching. I could tag this with a tooth number. I know we didn't quite get number six in there, but let's go ahead and present. And then we hit the Save button. And we can go ahead and close that image. So now we've got a bite wing x-ray, perio chart, and a couple narratives. Just to show you how easy it is, if you make a mistake here and add something that you really don't need, since I have two narratives there, you just select the one you want to get rid of and hit Remove Attachment and say yes to removing it. And then if you want to view the attachment just because you're not sure, did I actually choose the right x-ray or whatever it may be, just select what you want and hit View Attachment, and it'll give you a preview of what you're going to be sending over to NEA. Also down here at the bottom of Dentamax, I want to point out that it's showing you the date and timestamp and what you're attaching to this claim form. So you have a nice little summary down there as well. And the next step in the process would be clicking Upload Attachments to Fast Attach once you have all of your attachments that you want to send. So we would click that button, and then you would click Open Fast Attach to Send Insurance. So what happens next is NEA's box or application will pull up on your screen. You'll see the patient's name there and that the file is ready to send through NEA. So you just select that item and hit the Send button. That's all you have to do in this screen, and it's going to send that attachment out from NEA. Once you are done, you would simply click Check Attachment Status, and it'll give you the NEA receipt number right here at the bottom of your Dentamax screen. And then you are free to go ahead and send your electronic claim, and that NEA attachment number will show up on your claim form. Even if you're printing out that claim form or sending it electronically, you'll have the NEA receipt number. So when the insurance company receives the claim, they'll know what NEA attachment to go ahead and pull up and review along with your electronic claim. So that's how simple it is to go through and just do the, the button walkthrough of adding attachments through NEA. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Sherry, and she'll be able to continue on with showing you some other applicable uses and what NEA has to offer to our customers. Got it. Thank you so much, Alicia. And I can't say enough about the integration with NEA and Dynamax. You have one of the best I've ever seen. So if you are not you. taking advantage of it, please contact Alicia and really dive into it because I'll tell you, coming out of a practice and using the software, I've worked in paper offices, I've worked in electronic offices, and it's night and day different. Uh, the revenue cycle is highly improved. 
the fact that I didn't have to rework denials and get all of those EOBs back from the insurance company stating that they had never received those attachments and you had to refile those claims. That's a lot of extra work that, you know what, I'd rather be out marketing my doctor and marketing my practice to make it grow rather than doing repetitive work for no reason. When you have have such a, a great integration and uh, great software there at your fingertips. Well, our motto right now is quit monkeying around with those paper claim attachments. I mean, come on, when you have processes and, and stuff out there to streamline your uh, process and make it simple, why not at least give it a chance? And with that, uh, if anybody is interested, after the presentation, you have questions, you can contact Alicia, you can contact myself, and we do have a special offer to give to those clients that are not currently using Fast Attach at this moment. So at the end, I'll give you that information, so please stay tuned. Basically, uh, electronic attachments, the missing element of the claims process with Fast Attach, we have several value-added solutions that people you are really not aware of. Fast Attach, of course, is our des it's a desktop app application for some offices if you do not have the integration. With, but with Denimax, it simplifies the process even more. But we have over 750 dental payers and plans that we work with currently, and we're growing that list every day. So if you look over our payer list and do not see a payer that you may send to, send us the information and we'll gladly contact that payer and try and get them added to that payer list so therefore you can streamline all of your supporting documentation as far as your perio charts, EOBs, narratives, and all those offices that send out those pretreatment estimates. One thing I was not aware of in an office using NEA that I could send those electronically as well. So I would mail those out and have my patient sit back and wait and wait and wait until I got a, a approval from the insurance company. Well, to find out that those pretreatment estimates can be sent electronically up front as well, you get approval from the insurance company back a whole lot faster, and you're able to get that patient back in the chair and get their treatment done. That's huge. Secondary insurances. Uh, you know, a lot of people are not aware that they can submit that primary EOB and attach that and send that out to the insurance company and get those secondary claims paid faster. Fast Look, like Alicia said, that is a tool inside of NEA Fast Attach. There's no additional charge for this that gives you the ability, if you're not sure of a procedure that the doctor's doing in a code, he's using something different that he or she may not have used, and you're not unaware, what, well, what documentation do I need to send with this? Anything? Do I send it on to the insurance company and let them deny it and kick it back to me so I know what to submit? You have an application to look up that procedure code with that insurance company and go ahead and submit that documentation up front with that claim and get it paid rather than waiting on that denial to come back and then putting that information with it. Our Fast Capture app, um, hopefully most of you are already digital using the Denimax or another great imaging software out there. But for those offices that are just on the wagon, not sure if you want to go digital yet, we do have an app called Fast Capture. Uh, this is a free mobile app that we patent that allows you to download the app on any smartphone and or device and take a picture. You put the x-ray on the light box, you take a picture of that. And the great thing about this and staying secure is the fact that it does not store on that device. It stores within a repository with NEA and then allows you to attach that documentation, whether it be an x-ray or a narrative piece of paper or a referral, whatever it may be, you can take a picture of it and attach it with that claim up front as well. Another great, great, I cannot say enough about fast faults. Uh, it's for every fast attach account, you get two gigabytes of free on this subscription. And basically, those employee files, those MSDS books, all of that important information that you have to keep, you can store within your fast faults. It's a cloud storage, which allows you to access it anywhere. So 
therefore you have some, uh, somebody coming in doing an audit or you're looking for an employee file that you don't want to go dig in a, a filing cabinet for. If you store all that information within FastVaults, that gives you quick access to it. You can index it, pull it right up, and have all that information at your fingertips. We do have further tiers up, so you can get different tiers of the FastVaults, and it's still a very inexpensive way to use and to store into the cloud. We also offer Virtu, which is a secure email. It's a HIPAA compliant email communication between the patients, providers, etc. So therefore, if you have offices that you want to send your referral forms to or uh, completed work information, then you can use the Virtu to submit that information over to the other office and they do not have to have Virtu to receive that. They're getting it securely and there's permissions that can be set up, there's all kinds of stuff that can be set up, and the great thing about Virtru, it's $15 a month for up to 15 email addresses. If you do your research out there on secure email, you will not find anything as far as pricing better on the platform. Uh, we actually use it inside of our office in communications, and I'll tell you, we love it. It's, it's been a great tool, very user-friendly. So if you would like more information on any of these functions here or features, please let us know and we'd be more than happy to assist you with that. And just to let you know a little bit what is FastAttach, FastAttach is a way to submit any of those attachments, whether it be narratives, x-rays, EOBs, anything like that, over to the payers electronically, in turn getting paid faster. And when they're submitted, from Denimax over to NEA, we do not actually send those uh, images anywhere. We store them in a repository. The payers receive this unique NEA number. That's how they know to go log into their account and they can put in that NEA number and view any of those documents that you submitted and they can go ahead and process that information. With us not sending them anywhere, it keeps it secure and it gives us the ability to say, we're happy to say that we've submitted millions and millions of attachments each year with zero attachments lost. Unlike the mail where you're going to get several denials back saying, we never received that. So find out what to send before you send it. That's the fast look option within your NEA account. There's no extra charge for that. Our fast capture, like I said, was our patent digital way to submit things without being digital. Fast Vaults is our secure file storage and sharing. You can custom your file sharing options. You can share within the office or you can share documents to another doctor through Fast Vaults as well. And we have the special discounted pricing on the Virtru Secure Email. Like I said, $15 a month for up to 15 email addresses per office. And with that, I want to explain, because some people are like, well, 15 email addresses, they think they can only send to 15 email addresses. No, what that 15 email addresses means is the actual employees or staff members within your organization. So if the doctor, your front desk, your office manager, your assistants, everybody that needs a Virtru or a, a secure email account has access to it within that $15 a month. And why work with NEA? This is a great 100% of secure electronic payer connectivity. So like I said, we work with over 750 dental plans, adding more every day. We are a leader in the secure information exchange. And we've been in business for over 20 years. It's taken many years to build the reputation we have, but I'll tell you, actually coming, I've been with NEA for three years now, and before that I spent many years in a dental practice. And I believed in the software so much that whenever the opportunity came up, I came to work for NEA, and I, I, I'll tell you, I love working with our team. Our tech support is like no other. We have a great, great bond between everybody and we try to provide excellent customer service to each and every one of you. Uh, we focus on eliminating the efficiencies associated with those paper records uh, 
the low cost solution, we do have an ROI calculator if anybody's interested in knowing how much they can really save versus submitting by mail. Clients get unlimited training and support at no extra charge. And we have all these value added services to en enhance your productivity at no extra charge. Like I said, quit monkeying around with those paper claim attachments and give NEA or Alicia a call and let's get you started. And real quick, I was going to run through a demo. I know Alicia did a demo on the integrated level. And I wanted to show you if you were using anything but the integration. We do have the NEA Fast Attach desktop application. And it's a standalone. And it's more, I'm not going to say difficult. There's more steps involved on a standalone than there is with the integration. But it's still such a simple process. We wanted to give you guys just a quick rundown on it. And Sherry, while you're doing that, I just wanted to mention something that struck me about NEA services that I wasn't aware that you guys could help with. And when I was working in a practice, I would have loved to have this awareness. But you had told me before that if the dental office has had a claim that's outstanding for so many days that had an electronic attachment on that claim or sent out through NEA, that NEA's technical support team, or support team rather, would actually call the payer on behalf of the dental office and find out what the holdup is. Um, Most definitely. That is a huge added benefit to our NEA clients, uh, whether you use the integration or standalone, what have you. Uh, if you submit that claim with an x-ray, with any supporting documentation, and there is a delay in the process whatsoever, instead of getting on the hold with the payers that I spent hours a day sitting on hold trying to find out claim status, you contact our tech support via chat, email, or phone. Hey, I've sent this claim, this date, it's still pending, what's going on? They will find out and then call you back so you're not sitting on hold. We do that work for you. There is not another company out there that can offer the, or that does offer that to you at this moment. So just a brief, real quick, NEA Fast Attach, there's an icon on the desktop. And once you launch the application, at login, if there has been any, any updates or anything done to our system, it automatically updates that for you. So therefore, it's eliminating having to sit there and wait on updating the, the application or getting IT involved. That's an automatic update. Once you pull up Fast Attach, you get to the main screen. With the integration like Alicia showed, it showed that claim was ready to send and all she had to do is hit send. I've got some sitting here saying on hold. So I want to walk you through real quick. If I needed to add a patient in that has never been in our system, then I could go to new patient. I could go in and put the first name, last name, and date of birth. And then I could pick, if I had multiple locations, I can link all my accounts, all my locations, and that way if you've got one patient seeing you in this location and then that patient's going to another location for other services, you can link all your locations together by calling us and we can walk through the process. And you can pick that location. You can also pick your provider. Say you had 10 providers in one location, you can list out all your providers and pick that provider. And then I can add the insurance. And you can see we have a very extensive list. And our payer list is loaded on our website. But I am going to go down here and pick test payer. And I can see the patient's name. I put in their ID number. And I can pick the relationship to that patient. Whether uh, the patient is self, is it spouse, child, what have you hit OK, it loads that insurance in there for me. And now I can go back here to create an attachment. So now I'm on the main screen of NEA Fast Attach. With the integration, you're skipping this process because it's already built into Denimax, which, like I said, is a great, great integration interface there. And we love working with Denimax users.
I can pull up an x-ray and like Alicia showed, I could hit draw rectangle. I can pull in one image or I can pull in all these images and they're going to come over in a very readable version just like they were from wherever you pulled them from. But with us, you have to hit the patient is the or the left side is the patient's right side. You want to take put in a data service and what type of x-ray was that? Or is it a non-x-ray? Are we sending for appeals? Are we sending perio charting, EOB, COB, uh, narratives or students uh, verification? Can also put information in by tooth and pick the tooth number and put in all the information that I need there. So with that, I could go ahead and hit next and it's showing me that I've got the image there. And if I wanted to write a narrative on the screen, I can write a narrative. Another cool feature within Fast Attach is the fact that if you do receive the EOB or COB back that's requesting further documentation, you have an option here in the middle of the screen. There's two different types of uh, attachment requests. There's not unsolicited and solicited. Unsolicited attachments are those that you send submit up front with the claim. Solicited are those that you've submitted the claim, you submitted certain information, but the insurance company, they're being hard, so they want further documentation. So they're going to deny it and kick it back to you requesting that information. If they do that, you can hit yes here, and there's a reference number on that EOB. You can put that reference number here and hit submit without having to create a new claim and that will go on over to the insurance company and give them the option to view that information and process your claim. Another cool feature within NEA Fast Attach, we can submit an actual claim, or here's that pre prior authorization. And you can choose that. Uh, if I hit it as a claim, I want to put in my data service. And I've got a narrative in here. I've got my x-ray. I can hit save it's going to take me back to that main screen and on here you see now I'm at that stage that Alicia showed you ready to send but I still have two on hold these two are still needing work obviously but if I hit send it's going to give me a receipt with that NEA tracking number on it you can print those if you want but there's no need in, in these days because you want to stay electronic but you see the only claim that went on to the insurance company was that one that said ready to be sent. We do have our online features here which give you, uh, I have the demo version so it's like Alicia, it's not going to let me, allow me to show you those, but in the online features that shows you where you can look up fast look and look up those uh, codes to find out what documentation is needed to be submitted and you can look up payer information on, and you can also choose, like if I have all these insurance companies in here, but I only usually submit to five of them, you can pick those five that you submit to the most and they will be at the top of your screen and give you the ability to have those. But you can see the extensive payer list within NEA. We are a very transparent company, so we try and give you all information up front. Uh, You've also got provider information if you needed to load a new doctor in. It's very simple to hit new doctor. You put in very little information here, which allows you to add another doctor. And that's basically the gist of using NEA Fast Attach as a standalone. So you do see the benefits of using the Denimax integration versus using the standalone version. So if anybody has any questions, uh, please feel free to type those in now. And if you want to see any uh, other information in further detail, please let us know. And I'll turn it over to Christine Alfano and let her go through the questions. Okay, again, if you have questions, go ahead and type those in. I think someone's asking Alicia if we could see the interface again now that you've seen a little bit more about Fast Attach, just have another look at what that um, actually looks like in Dendamax? Sure, absolutely. 
while I'm, I'm waiting for that, I did want to mention, too, that there is something else that I found really valuable just in learning more about NEA, and that was that there's kind of a, a peer network that you guys have set up through your website where you can actually just share images and other attachments to the other peers that you have, that you work with, other referring providers that are also using NEA. So instead of actually having to upload and send an attachment or mail an x-ray or do something like that to get it over to the referring provider, you can actually just share it through the NEA network, if you will, to that other provider and they can add that as an attachment as well. So I just wanted to, to mention that. I thought that was a really neat feature also that um, I had learned about just recently too. Yeah, definitely. That provider to provider sharing is something that's built in. And I will tell you that not enough people utilize it. Um, so if you have any questions on that, you can always, even if you're already using Fast Attach and you're not sure how to use that feature, we do offer unlimited free training and support. So you can always contact our support line and one of the folks will be happy to help you and give you, you know, feedback on how to use that. Um, it's really useful for if you've got a, a set number of referring providers that you deal with, um, it, it makes it really easy to share those documents securely because, as you know, if you're sending them via regular email, um, not using something like the, the Virtue system or, or a fast vault type of thing for file exchange, um, they're not secure and you could be opening yourself up to um, compliance issues. So mm -hmm. that's yep. a, a very good point. Yeah, and because NEA has been around for so long and they've got so many different connections, I think a lot of a lot of dental offices are using it, especially in Dodonis and people who all they're doing all day long is, you know, um, items that require attachments. And so to be able to just share that x-ray over to the in Dodonis when you're sending that patient over instead of trying to print it and give them a fuzzy picture of something or trying to make a duplication of a film. I thought that was a, a really huge thing. So definitely, like they said, you know, give NEA a call if you're already using it and they can show you how to use that. I've got my Densmax pulled up on the screen once again. And under the claim screen, this is my test claim that I was showing you all. So I'm just going to double click on that test claim to open up the claim form. Once we have the claim form open, that's where we're going to find the NEA Fast Attach tab. And then it's a simple click through button process. So step one is check for your attachment requirements and it'll show you for this code an x-ray is required, for this code a narrative is required. So that information will be right here after you click that button. Then you're going to click add attachment and choose what type of attachment you're adding. And you ladies mentioned earlier that you could submit secondary insurance through here as well with your um, copy of the EOB. And that is an option as well as you could choose a EOB as a document to upload. And it'll let you, it will let you grab a copy of that EOB or make a copy of it from the Dentmax Document Center, which if you've scanned in that EOB or loaded it electronically, it would be in the Dentmax Document Center. So that is an option here as well, aside from just your X-ray options, Pano, FMX, Perio exam, and then your clinical notes and narratives. Anything that you've plugged into Dentmax will be available for you to add as an attachment. So you simply select what type of attachment you're adding, hit continue, it will pop up a box for you to choose which one of the perio exams or x-rays or clinical notes you want to attach. And so I'll just choose a random one here. And usually there's a use option or you just click on what you want and then hit the attach button. And it'll add it here in your list of attachments to the claim. Again, you know, you will also see what's required as an attachment in this box at the top aside from what it's notated here at the top of the very top of the screen. So you can kind of use this as your checklist and make sure the bottom half of the screen matches what you've got on the top half. You would then just click upload attachments to fast attach and you'll see a little uh, green bar zip across your screen which is indicating it's sending these attachments over to NEA. And then you open fast attach to send the insurance and then that'll just pull up your NEA box. And inside your NEA, NEA box, you're going to click send 
attachment for the one that says ready to send. Once that's done, you just check the attachment status to get that NEA receipt number right here attached to your claim form. Okay, so that is just the basic button down click through <laughs> process. I was going to say, Anna Alicia, I know like as you're going through, it may sound detailed, but in reality, that's about uh, a, a two minute or so process once you've got the hang of it and started submitting attachments, correct? Absolutely. It is, it is super fast uh, to just choose what you want and whip through those different buttons. So I definitely could get it done in, in even just a minute, <laughs> depending on how many attachments you're adding. Yeah, a lot less time than finding them, printing them, mailing them, and, and all of that. So. For sure, absolutely. The next question that we had actually says, you know, for NEA Fast Attached subscribers, do you provide them with the standalone version for free? So Sherry, I'll let you answer that. The standalone version, uh, if you're already using the integration, then you wouldn't necessarily need the standalone version. Uh, we do have a special offer for our Denimax clients to try to do a zero registration. And uh, right now we're running a one, uh, okay, it's a three month free, uh, zero registration, three month free trial for some offices to try the service to see how you like it and ensure that it's going to be beneficial for your practice. The next question, is there, for Denimax, is there a difference in using NEA Fast Attach between server and an online cloud user? That is a great question. Um, the the NEA integration is actually built into the server version by default if you have a local version of Dentamax. With the cloud version of NEA, we, um, of course, so because of the nature of the cloud, it's going to be the desktop NEA application that you're going to be using there. So the standalone version of NEA is what you would use if you're on the cloud as of this time, and obviously we're always developing our integrations and relationships further, but we're hoping to have that same NEA tight integration for the cloud option as well in the near future. Most definitely. And the next question, is there a limit to the number of attachments that you can send? No, this that's a great option about NEA Fast Attach, and uh, then even with integration with Dynamax. We do not charge per attachment, so you can send unlimited. If you have 10,000 attachments to submit each month, then you submit all of them for the low monthly fee of $34 a month. And please note that there's so many added benefits to that $34 a month. I know, you know, working with practices and working with doctors, we want to save every penny that we can, but streamline the practice as much as possible. With that $34 a month, you're not having to pay support. You get free support. You get free training. If you get a new employee six months down the road and they're not sure how to use the service and you don't have time to train them, send them to NEA. We will definitely ensure that that gets taken care of. The benefit of any of those claims that are delayed for any reason, our tech support will sit on hold with the payers, which frees up your time to do other things for the practice. The fact that you have the fast look and can view any of those attachments or supporting documentation up front before submitting the claim, which will make you have a healthy AR stream reimbursement. One thing that I like to point out, working in a specialty practice that I worked in, we produced over $250,000 a month. And our AR was never over $80,000 at any given point. I've worked with a lot of consultants and a, a lot of different people, and the average AR is anywhere from a month and a half production to three months production. So if you can step up and have everything streamlined electronically, get things out, get paid faster, then you can come back and say, hey, my AR is less than one month production. Uh, that, that's definitely a huge benefit to the $34 a month. And the next question was, so current staff that might be using Fast Attach can get trained through NEA? And I think you, you kind of just covered that. Absolutely. That's something that you can set up very easily with a phone call to our support team, or you can even go online to our website, nea-fast.com, and go to the chat window and chat with one of our support representatives and set up a convenient training time for you. 
um, they're happy to work with you on your schedule and get something set up and, and go through it with you. Additionally, I will say that we do offer what they call quick start webinars that are training webinars for practices and new hires, new employees coming in or refreshers and those are offered weekly to get folks started and all of that information is available on our website on our events page as well as um, different educational webinars that we offer just on general topics like we have one coming up next week on August 1st it's they're all free no cost to you um, but it's on HIPAA and how it can help you with ransomware issues because that's become a big issue of late so definitely want to check that out but yes the training is available it's at no cost if you're a, a fast attached client so um, definitely take advantage of that Yes, and please take advantage of those webinars. There, we have a webinar usually on a monthly basis. They're listed on our website where you can register for those webinars, but they are such great information out there. And I know as office managers, administrators, we get busy staff members, and you don't think about needing that extra uh, information and training. So we do coding updates at the beginning of the year with a great consultant out there. This is all offered to you at no additional charge, which gets you more up to date on what's going on in the dental world out there. Okay. Um, the next question, we don't do a, a lot of attachments per month, maybe 10 to 15. Would something like this be beneficial for us? Oh, most definitely. We've got an ROI calculator that I, I had mentioned earlier that can really show you the benefits if you submit at least 10 attachments a month, you are still saving money at $34 a month. And please look at it with that three month trial that we're offering right now, that's giving you, or lowering that cost from 34 down to about $25 and 50 cents a month per location for the first year. So that's a huge savings in itself. And to me, if I submitted two attachments, a month, I'm still going to feel better knowing that I submit them electronically instead of by paper because by paper you're still having to wait that 30 to 90 days for reimbursement. Well, those claims that need those attachments and need that supporting documentation are usually your higher production claims. So if it's $1,500 and you submit it by mail, you're waiting 30 to 90 days, that's sitting on your AR where if you get it submitted electronically up front, then it's going to get your reimbursements within 7 to 14 days and keep your AR low and keep you stream, streamlining the process altogether. Yeah, and I would say, um, you know, just as a, a broad figure for you, talking about the comparison, I know we just did some research. If you're submitting an average of 15 attachments a month, you can save over 60% of what you're spending right now on, on that entire process just by automating it and using um, fast attach. And that's, you know, 60% per month based on, you know, your labor, your mailing and, and your, your time associated with waiting. So it's definitely worthwhile in looking into further. So is this only for claims or predeterminations too? Great question. This is for both. Uh, you can submit those predeterminations up front, which in turn, if you mail those out, you're waiting that 30 to 90 days for the insurance companies to get those and turn those around and give you, send you back an authorization showing how much the patient's going to owe and this, that, and the other. If you submit them uh, electronically, again, you're going to get those turned around faster, be able to get the authorization back to the patient and get that patient back in your chair. And we all know that, you know, if you tell a patient they need treatment and they want a predetermination done, the longer the patient's out there, the harder it's going to get them to come back and get in the chair and get that work done. So streamlining the predeterminations, huge, as well as any of those claims that need any supporting documentation up front, you can submit and get reimbursed within 7 to 14 days. And one note that I did not mention, some of the insurance companies like MetLife Dental, they reimburse within 24 hours of getting an electronic claim with attachments. Yep. And then another thing just to add to that is in Dentmac with the integration, you can also pull up the NEA Fast Attach tab on the pre-authorization 
under the claim screen, just like we did on a regular claim under the claim screen. Great point. I will say I just want to thank you, Alicia, for, for joining us and for sharing the information, and, and you, Sherry, as well. I think um, definitely some good information to get out there about both of the, the services that we offer jointly here. And again, we know your time is valuable, and we hope that you learned a few things today. We look forward to having you on future webinar sessions. As I said, I sent out the, uh, the link to the NEA events page, so hopefully you'll find some of those resources. Again, they're all complimentary webinars, so we'd love to have you on future sessions. And if you need any assistance, you can contact uh, Alicia at Denimax or Sherry at NEA. Again, thank you ladies so much for joining us and thank you everyone for attending.